So today's video is gonna be on um, wasting time and thing, three things you could do to make yourself a high percentage more productive. Now I'm not gonna throw the percentage higher. I would like to say you're gonna save 10%. Um, you could increase your pro productivity by 10%. I'm gonna give you three things that if you follow these three things, I promise you, you will be more productive. And even if you don't have enough work or if you don't have enough things to keep yourself busy to do these three things, I promise you, if you get in the habit of doing these three things, that you will gain more business and you will be more productive, leaving yourself more time throughout the day to gather more business and to be more productive. Because idle hands, you will find work. If you can be more productive and find yourself looking for more work, you will find that work and you will be more productive, I promise you. Gotcha. So you remember, do you remember the weight that man, oh, 2,000 pounds, anything over that is 98 and ton? Okay. I got it. All right, guys. So the first thing you can do to be more productive is always you're going to see me with a lunchbox. If you don't stop for lunch, you will save yourself at least, and I'm telling at least 15 minutes a day. If you save yourself 15 minutes a day times four days, that's an hour and a quarter, an hour and a half, two hours that you're gonna save. That's if you don't even eat at the place that you're stopping at. If you eat fast food, or if you're stopping at a, um, a convenience store, you're saving that time, you're gonna at least save yourself 15 minutes. So the first thing I can tell you is pack your lunch and I'm going to tell you guys, I packed a little bag of treats and the wife packed me crustables today. So if you pack your lunch, I promise you, you will save yourself 15 to 30 minutes per day if you just do that one thing and pack your, and pack your lunch. That's the first thing. Down a little bit. Yep. Number two, this is a huge, huge time saver. When you get fuel, you're at the gas station, go to a place that you can run the credit card outside. Now I go to a place that I have to go inside to get fuel because they have older, older, older tanks and I hate going there. So I have to go in and pay for it and it absolutely drives me nuts. But don't go into the place where you get fuel from. If you get fuel at a, well, we have Wawa or Circle K, make it a habit. Do not go inside a fuel place during the day. You'll wait in line for 15 or 20 minutes. You'll be in line. You'll look around. You'll get something fattening. You'll start eating all these sugary snacks and buying stuff you absolutely don't need. You will waste $15 and you will waste 15 minutes. So between the two, you're out a $100 bill. When you're getting fuel, stay your butt outside. Don't go inside. Don't waste your time getting fuel, goodies. Just get your fuel, get out, and get your job done. That will save you 15 minutes a day. Now, I could go about a day and a half without getting fuel. So for me, it wouldn't be every day um, on, this, on the P220. 
I could get about a day and a half, depending on how hard I'm running it and how heavy I'm ro rolling. But if you don't go in to the, I call it the trap, you'll you'll stay out of the trap. You'll save ten, fifteen dollars. Now, if you need cigarettes, get your cigarettes all in one week. Get your cigarettes for the week, and don't go into those places to get cigarettes. Stay out of the place, and you shouldn't be smoking anyway. But stay out of the place. Don't go into the place that you're getting fuel from because you will waste money and you will waste time. So that's number two. Number three. Now, there's two things that is gonna cost you the most. Number one is your trucks. Number two is your dump. That's your two, and then depending on how many employees you have. But let's say one of the most expensive things or most um, daunting bills you're gonna get every week is your dumping bill. And that's gonna be a lot of the time during the day you spend time is gonna be at the dump. In our area, there's only really a few choices and we like them all the best, but in your area, what, what you need to do, there, we don't have a favorite out here is what I'm trying to say, because we really do enjoy everywhere we go. The people are really nice at all of our locations, and they're all, um, you know, they all run pretty efficiently, so they get you in and get you out. Now, what you want to do is, because you're spending so much time in the dump, is when you go to the dump, you want to pick a dump that you could get in and get out as fast as possible. If you find that you're going to, if you have several locations to dump at, and one place is taking you longer than the other place to dump, you're gonna wanna avoid that because you're just gonna waste so much time waiting in lines at the dump. Now, there is a place that we do avoid around here, but they take, they take mostly like um, house trash, but there's sometimes their lines can be, um, you know, 45 minutes long. So we try to avoid that place. Um, that's more for like household garbage though, like food trash. So we don't go there too often. Since you're spending so much time at the dump and going in and out of you might be in and out of there five or six times a day. You want to pick a dump that you can expedite your time, get in and get out. Like I said, we love every place that we go to. There's really no um, pitfalls, but if there was, we would avoid that place. I can't express it enough that if you're spending a lot of time in one place, whether you're at the dump or you're at the fuel place, try to eliminate your little pitfall so you're constantly in the truck. I'll explain why. If you have, let's say, let's say you're just starting out and you have three stops. Someone calls you on the phone to say, can you get me a dumpster today? And you wasted an hour and you, let's say because you're doing this part-time or let's say it's a full-time gig and you're gonna say, no, I don't have time. But if you didn't waste that half an hour or 40 minutes earlier in the day, you could have got that extra stop in. And I can't tell you how many times I've done that. At the end of the day, at three o'clock, when the dump closes at 3.30 or 4.30, someone's called me and said, hey, I need this, this can brought out. And you know, can you, can you squeeze me in? And I was able to do it. Now, if I was wasting my time either at a dump or eating somewhere or going into the, to the convenience store while I'm getting fuel, I never would have been able to get those. I can't tell you how many times at the end of the day, especially in the summertime, people call me and ask me to get, you know, one more can out. And um, I don't fall into the trap is just keep going, keep going until, you know, I drop dead. I'm not saying that, but I'm just merely saying work to a decent hour, never work past your um, allowed DOT time, work safe. But if you just streamline your day, you'll be able to get that last stop in. And as you get busier, you're gonna find yourself needing that extra time. And if you instill your work habits to not wasting time at the dump or not going out for lunch or, or doing this, I call it nonsensical stuff, um, you'll build your, you know, your, your mental habits into not wasting that half an hour to 45 minutes. Because I promise you, if you keep at it, you're gonna be busy enough to where you're gonna need every minute of the day.